Hi everyone! Today we're making pumpkin, pumpkin bread. bread. All right, this was a favorite recipe mm -hmm. of my family's when I was growing up. So now we're going to make it for you, and we'll tell you about mm -hmm. it as we go. We have three cups of flour here in the bowl. We're going to go ahead and add um, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So that's a good spicy mix. Um, you could use whatever your favorite like fall spices are for baking. If you want to add a little ginger or something, you could. But this is how we like it. Like I said, my mom baked this for us um, all the time in the fall when I was growing up. It makes two loaves. Um, I'm from a big family, so we didn't have a problem eating the two loaves. It would be gone in a day or two. You could freeze the second loaf or gift it, but it's nice to go ahead and make the two loaves because that way you get to use the whole can of pumpkin. You don't have to have a little bit left over that you have to figure something else out to do with it. So once we get our dry ingredients all mixed together here, then we'll switch on over to the wet ingredients. All right, so in our bowl we have four eggs lightly beaten. We're going to add um, two cups of sugar, just granulated white sugar. Oh, now you're extra sweet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add our can of pumpkin. It's so sweet. So you wanna use just pure pumpkin, pumpkin puree in this recipe. You can use homemade if you'd like. Um, you don't want the pumpkin pie mix. Because it isn't pumpkin pie. It's not pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin bread. Well, the pumpkin pie mix has like spices and stuff already mixed in it. And then you just add eggs and stuff, but we want just pumpkin here. Mm-hmm. Because it's not pumpkin pie. I tell you what, if anybody's in the market for a kid, I got one for sale. <laughs> I'll make a great deal on him. All right, then we're going to add one and a quarter cups of oil. We'll get that stirred together. Don't use pumpkin pie mix because it's not pie. <laughs> Really good deal. I'll make a fantastic deal. If you want me, I, I won't leave. <laughs> I won't go. All right, so this is a really simple recipe to put together, really. Like yeah. I said, it makes two loaves, which is nice for a big family. Otherwise, like I said, you can easily freeze it. Um, and then you have a loaf for later. Luckily, we still have plenty of people to share with between my coworkers and family dinner and everything, so we can yeah. make big batches of stuff and not be mm -hmm. stuck with it. Because we want to make new things. We constantly have new other recipes to make, so we can't let things hang around too long. If she's dessert and there's leftovers and we're, we aren't going to eat it, her coworkers will. Yeah. They told me that was the best thing about me the other day. <laughs> Is that I bring them treats? <laughs> I don't know what that says, but. <laughs> I don't know. It's generous. I guess. It's a compliment. Mm hmm. That means they like the treats, I guess. Yeah. You are obviously a good cook if they like it. All right. Should we get the flour mixed in? Sure. At least it's not like Maybe adding. Stir that in and then add the rest. At least it's not like adding it into a mixer where it puffs it, where it like puts it everywhere in mm -hmm. the air. I'm the mixer, just not. So you messy. are the mixer, and you puff it everywhere in the air sometimes too. I've seen it happen. <laughs> I believe we have video evidence of it. If you can even see it on the video. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am pretty sure that we have some videos where you can definitely see it. <laughs> there are some foggy videos. Mm -hmm. All right, should we add the rest? Now that we got that at least somewhat mixed in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not saying that I saw a puff of stuff go everywhere, but I think there might have been a puff of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you think at home? You think he's as messy as a mixer? Comment down below if you think so. We'll have a debate. Yeah, we can debate who's messier. Little dude or a mixer? Mm-hmm. So, sorry it's been so long since we've made a yeah. video. We've been busy. We tried to make a video, but first of all... Keep stirring. The... Otherwise I can stir for a minute if you want. Um... So the first thing that happened was the video started off weird, and so we started an another one. And we knew it was weird because we, um, messed up when we started off the video. And we hadn't added any ingredients together, it was just us talking. So then we decided we were going to do another one because, and we didn't check the audio because why would we? There's no point in checking the audio because, like, why would we? Yeah. Why would we just know that we need to check the audio? So then we made the video, check the, and check it, there's no audio. Bring it down to our computer. Check it. No audio. Uh-oh. Come check the mic. And then we see, oh, it's because the microphone wasn't recording. Yeah, somebody had messed with the settings on the microphone and turned the volume all the way down. So we were just talking to ourselves. Yeah. So anyway, we scrapped that video. But yeah. we did try to make you one last week. Up till then, between soccer games and school and homework mm. and work and everything, it's just been so busy. We haven't uh, had a chance to do much. Mm -hmm. But we did have a little fun thing happen uh, last week, I believe. The local newspaper did a little story yeah. on us, so that was kind of fun. So I'll try to leave the link to that in the description box below if you're interested in reading a little bit more um, about Cooking with Carly and Little Dude and and how we came to be. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a news reporter here and... Yeah, so that was kind of fun. All right, once we get this mixed in, we did add about a cup and a half of chocolate chips. We used milk chocolate today because that's his favorite. You can use semi-sweet or dark or whatever you like the best. You could also leave them out if you don't want it in there, but we really like them in there. Now we've got two nine by five loaf pans here. We're just gonna divide the batter between the two loaf pans. If we can make room for it. You want me to hold the bowl or how do you wanna do it? I want to do it like this. Okay. You no, know, we'll need one in this one, but this one needs some in the other one. Yep. This is a heavy pan. All right, so we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to bake these for about an hour. Um, 60 to 70 minutes until they're done. If you insert a toothpick in the center, it should come out with just a few moist crumbs. It shouldn't be wet and sticky. Um, and we'll let them cool for about 10-15 minutes, dump them out onto a wire rack, let them cool completely, and then we'll be back later today to show you uh, what they look like done and give them a taste test. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. Yep, our bread has baked and cooled. Yep, we've got some slices here. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's a perfect mix of pumpkin with just enough spice and a little bit of chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's good on its own. You can spread a little bit of butter on it if you want to take it to the next level, I guess. But I think it's moist and delicious on its own. It's got just a tiny bit of a crust and then a nice moist center. 
Mm -hmm. So we highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Make it for breakfast, make it for a snack. Just make some. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.